Hello everyone, I'm Mojde Iqbal, I'm a private chef in Southern California, and I'm honored to be part of Farhang Favor series. And I want to say thank you to Farhang Foundation for all their support in promoting Iranian food, art, and culture. Today I'm making Chalikyaba Kubideh, which is one of the most traditional Iranian dishes in Persian cuisine. Especially in summertime, you have guests coming over and everybody want to have like an outdoor food. And with this recipe, you can make your family and your friends really happy. To have a perfect rice, you need one of these rice cooker. What you need, rice, water, oil, salt, and don't forget about butter. You turn it on and the rice is going to be ready in 60 minutes. I believe for each meal you need a nice glass of wine. I'm going to pick something for my guest today. A bottle of Doryush. I think is the perfect wine for today. And this is my recommendation to you guys. I think it's better to have your wine, it doesn't matter you just pay $9 or $10 bottle of wine or $2,000. It's better to always decant your wine. This bottle of wine is owned by Darush Khalidi. It's one of the most romantic winery in Napa. It's very nice wine. These are ingredients for Kubidi Kebab. You need 73% of ground lamb and 27% of ground beef with 15% fat. Grated onion and you have to make sure to get all the water out. Salt. Turmeric. Black pepper. And saffron. And you guys mix this together for 30 minutes and put it in the fridge for one hour. To make a kebab kubide, you need a handful of meat and then you put the skewer in the middle of the meat and you play, go up and down to shape the meat around the skewer and at the end you use your thumb and press the meat to avoid the meat from falling. This is the perfect kebabkubide. And also we have a lot of side, we have tomato, and skewer it. Which today I have small onion. And also, don't forget about pepper for barbecue. This is my signature sauce for my kebab kubide. And what you need are melted butter, fresh lime juice, for sure saffron, and chicken powder. You mix it together, and after you make your kebab kubide, you put it on top of your kebab. I prefer to have a kebab in charcoal barbecue because I think the kebab in charcoal bar barbecue gets a lot tastier.
moi. My signature sauce on top. And this is the way that you serve kebab kubide for your guests. So are you ready? I'm ready, Moji Jun. Bah, bah. Bah, Try bah. it. Bukhara? Yes, please. But das, but yo, but Whatever you want. Oh, shit. Okay. Bye, sir. <laughs> I want to say thank you to Farhang Foundation to give me this opportunity to share this recipe with you. Hope you enjoyed it. Khodafes.